laugh. Everybody likes a good laugh. So why not have some fun while helping out some local veterans? We've already been cracking up this morning. We want you to meet the Wise Guys Comedy Manager. This is Adrian Valenzuela, along with Manuel Montoya, commander of VFW Post 720 and DA Jones. Hi, guys. Hello. Good, Good morning. to see you. Wise Guy Comedy Tour. Tell us about this. Okay, well, Wise Guys Comedy, right now, we're currently going across the nation, raising money for local veterans. We're on our Wise Guys Comedy Tour for veterans. So awesome. what we do is we work with local BFWs and American Legions, and we do healing through laughter. Being a veteran myself, I know that it's very hard to, you know, come back and have that stability on mentality. So Absolutely. we're trying to do healing through laughter, you know, the best way that we know how as comedians, as well as raising money through, along the way. And you really do have a great uh, comedy background. What, in, in what, 19, 2007, what were you voted in? I was class? a class clown 2007. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went on to become a Marine, which is no laughing matter yes. by any means. But you kept that comedy kind of inside of you. Comedy has always been my passion. It's, you know, growing up, it's been the way that I've coped with everything. Um, I've always tried to make the, the best of a bad situation through comedy. You know, comedians have been my inspiration by changing, you know, things that we deal with daily and turning them into a positive light. So is that why you started this group, this touring group? So originally, Wise Guys Comedy got started with, um, I saw a lot of local talent going around open mics. I saw people that had the talent but didn't have the opportunity. So my goal, I was working with a veteran group at the time, was to put the two together to get with local comedians as well as still continuing helping veterans we, along the way. We love that. And Manuel, thank you so much for all that you do as well. And your post, 720, these guys are going to come and make you guys crack up in there. Tell us about the service that you guys do as a post. For those who don't know what a VA post is, what kind of community outreach do you offer? Well, first of all, um, the VFW is for veterans of foreign wars. And it's an elite group, uh, but we never turn any veteran down. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a non-profit uh, non, uh, organization, and uh, so all of our proceeds go towards our vets. What, how, did, how excited are you to have the wise guys oh, there? Oh, <laughs> I was really excited when Adrian came by and said he wanted to, uh, to uh, perform at our, at our post. And I was especially excited because they're going to donate 50% of their proceeds towards the v, uh, VFW. Oh, that's wonderful. And DA, you're one of the comics on this amazing tour. Yes, I am. Thank you for your service as well. I know you were in the Air Force. Yes, ma'am. So tell me about your comedy. Give me, give me one of your best jokes. Oh, my best. Oh, there's so much. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm putting you on the spot. No, no, it's okay. okay. I mean, you're, 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 you're showing me what you do for a living. All right. So there you I'm go. Gonna, Here's um, your stage. One of my favorites is, uh, and actually, I wasn't the first to tell this. This is uh, Al Pacino actually said this joke, and it's very funny. It's a thinker. Um, a skeleton walks into a bar, and he asks the bartender, give me a beer and a mop. Ba -dum -bum. Ba -dum -bum. <laughs> See, I just need he doesn't drummer. have anything to keep yeah. the beer in. So tell me about your comedy. What what influences you? Where do you get your inspiration? And, and how oh, great oh, is it George Carlin. I, okay. I loved uh, George Carlin as a kid. Um, uh, just uh, an amazing person. Um, I also want to, you know, I want to thank uh, Manny for uh, you know, for allowing us to do this. This is amazing Absolutely. that we're doing for veterans and helping them out. Um, there's a lot of influences. I think the biggest influence I have is our other two comics, Drew Manning and Frank Saldamano. Yes. We, uh, we actually put all of our life savings together, including Adrian, and we got an RV. And yes. we're, we're living in an RV for Tell two us months. Tell the name of your RV. It's called Betty. Betty. Now, which is weird because it's a male <laughs> RV. It's an it's a Excalibur Georgie boy, but we but decided transgender... We were going to name her Caitlin, but it's already taken. So. Yeah, so you so, decided to go with Betty. Yes, and Betty. And you guys travel all over, and you're going to yes. be traveling all over the country, right? Yes, yeah, so we're starting right now in Arizona, doing the, the Phoenix scene. And then uh, we have our big show back home, September 11th, Ha Ha's for Heroes, which okay. is in Los Angeles. And then from there, we're going to Nevada and then across the country, working with local VFWs and American well, Legions along the way. Guys, it's been a privilege. It's been a pri privilege meeting you. You're hilarious. Continue doing what you do. Thank you all for your and thank service. You, yes, thank, thank you, Susan. Thank you for having us. Oh, it's, it's our pleasure. Amazing. It's our pleasure. If you want to get some laughs while helping veterans, you can find the schedule on their website, wgctour.com. You can give them a call, 626 388 0055 for much more information. Thank you guys for what you do. Thank you.